I'm gathering up some sticks and small branches from the lawn out here so that they don't get eaten by the mower. Yeah, it has a bush hog on it, but you know, we need them anyway because they make the fire in the fire pit bigger and better. So I'm collecting that um, and trying to take care of the garden. We actually had a mini hard freeze last night on the night of, yeah, May 9th down here in Virginia. It went down to 28, but not for the four hours required for a technical hard freeze. So I don't think our pepper plants made it. We might have to plant some more. Happily, I have a few seedlings for that. <laughs> and obviously the bush hog won't handle those bigger ones. Even though it's under a harvest guard cloth, the peppers still look like they died. My theory on that is that the row cover is too far from the actual plant to actually provide the amount of frost protection that is stated to be able to provide. So I think that there's just enough room in there for the frost to settle in and do the damage that it wants to do. Because we all know frost has intention. And of course the garlic didn't mind the frost at all. In fact, the larger Persian garlic here is even producing scapes already. No worries, the German and Amish that we have planted show no signs of scaping. Is that a word? Is that what you call it, scaping? That's what they do. For many, the main reason for having a fire pit is to get rid of yard waste, and that's our main reason too but we also burn the kitty poo that we have too because we use the pine litter for them. And so it works well in the fire pit and then we don't have to bring it to the dump. 